Are you ready? Ready. All right. We are on the fast track and we have a special guest and our special guest is Lisa Kirk. And hey, Lisa. Hey, Hello. Lisa. Hi. And she's going to tell us a little bit about her former life and how she got to this better version of herself and what she's up to today. Hi. <laughs> Thank you Hi. so much for having me. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. So in, in brief, I can, because I have a lot to share, but um, I'm not sure what, what you would like me to talk about, but I, I mean, I grew up in Pennsylvania. Uh, oh, no. I was... <laughs> I'm sorry, the way you look is like, I grew up in Pennsylvania, so then you know all about what's going on. Sorry. Oh, Pennsylvania was great. It's just, I go there to visit anymore, you know, just ah, to visit okay. family, yeah. I wouldn't stay there because it's too busy, <laughs> ah. but um, I I was there for about 21 years and then I joined the service, joined the army and I spent 21 and a half years in the army. So I just recently retired in 2017 and I settled with my husband in Missouri because he works in a government job and he's three years to retire. And we met in the military and we've been married for 25 years. So, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, at least I listen to you I'm like, I admire people who can do that and have a long run with their job history and a long run with their marriage and all that. That's totally opposite for me. You look so <laughs> I'm great. Like, I have what is your what is your your secret? Me? <laughs> yeah. Uh just living life. Um I when I came back from Korea, I, I was watching these infomercials and the meaningful uh meaningful beauty by Cindy Crawford popped up. And I said, why not try it? So I, I've i been wearing the face stuff since. <laughs> I guess that's nice. what it is. Right? I think I smile too much too. I think that's what it is. No, it was, you, you, you can never smile, smile too much. much. No. Oh. <laughs> you got the right oh. guest speaker for our channel, Two Lights in the Darkness. That's all it's all about. It's finding your smile when you can't find your smile. And so we always try to bring on uh, a lot of um, positiveness. And uh, so we're glad you're here, Lisa. And so tell us what you're embarking on right now. I'm embarking. Uh, I wrote a book. Uh, so my book is my memoir is called In and Out of Uniform. It's a story about my life. Uh, they're like short stories about my life in and out of the service. And there were small stories in there that capture a lot of the stuff I went through that I faced, like uh, rape, physical assault, sexual assault, lot toxic leadership. But the purpose of the book is to inspire and motivate people to never give up and speak up because there's a lot of that had, that I've noticed since I wrote the book mm -hmm. where when I would do my book signings, um, I would have a long line of people that would be like women, and veterans. They would say, I have a story for you. Uh, you know, how to get through. Yes. So I, I would love to guest speak and just present on positive energy to let people know that they have a voice. That's so awesome. So basically what you're saying is that all like the, the stories and the things that we think that happen in the military to women are actually happening and are I was gonna say devastating, but affecting women for the rest of traumatizing women. Whoa. Yes, yes. I uh, actually, when I came back from my first deployment, it was like in 2004, I was in Afghanistan. I went to see my family and my mom was like, it's been a while since I seen her. And she's like, your light that that used, used to light up the room. Uh, <laughs> and now for some reason, um, it's it's dim. And mm -hmm. I had a share the story. And I wrote, when I wrote the book, I told her, this is all the stuff that happened to me because I would never want to share it with her because I didn't want to worry her. Yeah. So um Ever since I started speaking up and going through like treat uh, retreats for women and just knowing that, you know, I, I'm not alone. It's, it's, yeah. it's lady. It really is. Cause we can share stories and understand our lingo, which makes it very powerful. Yeah. yeah. It gives me goosebumps, you know, I know me too. Oh. Yeah. So how hard is it for a woman in the military to speak up? 
about what happened? I spoke up about the rape that happened in 97. It was my uh, first six months in. Uh, the soldier was who assaulted me was part of a good old boy system. Mm. Uh, I spoke up to the commander about it. Nothing happened. Mm. Um, I deployed. I, I was sexually assaulted by a friend. And I, I it was no consent, no nothing. I didn't want anything to do with him. And um, I figured nobody was going to say anything if I said something because he's a good old boy. And then when I was assaulted 13 years later uh, in Missouri by a higher ranking individual and nothing happened, I realized I was like, my voice doesn't matter to any of these people. Really doesn't matter because nobody was taking action. So I almost took my life at my last duty station, but with a little help from my friends and family, I was able to pick myself up and realize I need to retire and uh, live the good life. So, yeah. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Wow. I'm so, I'm so glad you're here with us and uh, so glad you made the right decision. And yes, if there's anyone out, out there um, that is contemplating, like it's not worth it, I'm, I'm ending this, then that's your their bright light to say, oh no, it's not as far from over, right, Lisa? Right, right. Because you have to look at the the the, the end state. Um, we just lost my mother-in-law a year and a half ago to suicide and oh. at our house. And uh, the sad part about it was, it was a choice she made and I'm still angry about it. I'm going through uh, grief counseling. But on the mm -hmm. flip side, there are so many people who loved her and are missing out on her mm -hmm. smile and her contagiousness because she's no longer with us because she made that decision, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, so when people think about stuff like that, they have to look at how it affects people who actually love them and care about them. Yeah, because that, yes. that goes away. When you make that decision, you you don't look at anybody else but you, your feelings and what you want. Yeah. 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 And that's why they, like a lot of people say, you know, it's a, it's a selfish act. And when you um feel, because I've been there too. And when you feel like it's, you're, you're listening to these voices in your head telling you, I would be better off without you. So you're getting a whole different perspective than what is the reality. Right. Right. So basically, if you have those um, thoughts that you would rather step out of life, um, what you actually should do is seek help. Do not be afraid to, to ask for help, right? Right. And coping skills too, because uh, I have, I, I uh, created a hobby, I have a hobby painting and singing and playing guitar and writing. And I noticed that it takes me away from a different dimension in my, in my head because mm -hmm. I, I PTSD, anxiety, and depression. So I always say at the end of my book is uh, the last sentence is what is your coping skill? So I, I turned my hobby into a business recently. It's called create with Lisi and I bring the community together. I paint a canvas and they come in, relax, just sit back, relax, and, and and create a masterpiece. And I put on some very relaxing music and I just have fun. Oh, that is so awesome. cool. And that's your business now? Yes. <laughs> Whoa. That is really a turnaround. Yeah. Yes. And, and um, I want to, I have planned to do that with the veterans. I want to be able to help them with the PTSD and help them also with the socialization and and you know i find art too and the best way to do that um it's very therapeutic and you know like you're saying it's it brings everybody together yes you don't worry about anything that's going on outside you're focusing right. on that painting and how you're going to create that you know so yeah yeah it's amazing <laughs> it is oh, i can't is. imagine whoa it's it's funny cuz i can see why your mom said that you light up the whole room because you're doing it now as well yeah oh, thank you <laughs> thank you 
You're I'm trying to bring it back. I really am. I'm trying yeah. to bring my, take my mask off, uh, not internalize everything and just kind of like be me, you know, try to be yeah. me again. And that tough master sergeant who's been in the army for so long, structure, just try to get back to myself. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, how 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 does that work for you? Was it's not it's never easy to go back to yourself, uh, but well, you have your art, your hobbies, your your business now. But what what does what did it how you say what did it take to get here for you? What can people learn from your story? Therapy, really. Uh, there's a lot of resources out there for veterans um, where I decided to take a chance and go. And they gave me a lot of different types of programs and like mindfulness and, you know, walk in a labyrinth and just kind of like unloading my rucksack. Uh, in a I, labyrinth? The, they, they have a labyrinth that where you walk and you pick up a big rock and by the time you get to the center, you drop it. Yeah. It was the most amazing experience ever. And we're all just standing there just sobbing because we're trying to leave everything that we ha had carried with us there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Awesome. That is that's awesome. Almost, yeah, I was going to say, that's almost like the meditation that Noe did with us. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. So, and, and otherwise, we, but Lisa did, and she did it in reality, and we just do it in our imagination. Interesting. That's yeah. powerful, huh? that's great just therapy yeah. and um yeah I think therapy helped me out tremendously and then just getting out there and taking a chance and seeing what comes up as far as you know my capabilities of um what I feel can help out to the community you know if I can give back because they tell us that when you get out of the military like get back to your community and it's it's been it's been my business is booming which is great it's it's been yeah. happening yeah about that so your 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 clients are mainly veterans some of them are because i live um i live in missouri so i'm near fort leonard wood of, yeah yeah big huge training post so yes I, I i a lot of uh um spouses from the military yeah uh, yeah so yeah it's a lot of fun <laughs> <laughs> i go to spouses too, which is kind of cool so oh nice. i can imagine wow yeah, you just give me a lot of ideas, Lisa, because um, like things that I have planned and you've already done some and <clears throat> and I have a, um, excuse me, I have a VA Togus um, center near me. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I need to reach out to them. Um, but yeah, so this is great. And you've mentioned a few things, <clears throat> excuse me, you mentioned a few things. And um, so the people that we have watching today, where would they be able to uh, get a hold of any, the information to contact you or um, to get like uh, information as to, um, you know, how could they be a part of what you're talking about? I just, uh, that's a great question because I just uh, created a website. I have a domain name. Okay. It's called, uh, <laughs> it's called create with Lise, L I S E E dot com. And it, it, it tells you a little bit about me. It tells you about my paint parties. It tells you about my podcast that I've been on, uh, my book, and a song I created at the Grand Ole Opry, which is kind of cool. So the Revet program. And it's all there. They can contact me and stuff like that. Great. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to listen to this over again because there's so much information <laughs> here. <laughs> nah, we'll put it in the description. Just send it to, to Ellie and then... Uh... But um, oh, I was I was going to ask something else, but I forgot about it. Let's let's keep talking, yeah. and then it come yeah. it will come back to it will come back to me. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I feel like my 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 thoughts and whatever it just out there. I've just been like probably doing too much, but um. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you it? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. I know now. it. So, do you also like offer retreats to people? Um, I go to retreats, but I don't. Um, but I don't actually do them. I actually help them out with, mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to send, I'm sorry, while we're talking, I'm trying to, I'll send it after my website. <laughs> yeah. up all of, don't open up the first blend because <laughs> it's not the right one. But anyway, um, whenever we do retreats, um, I, I am offered the opportunity to do paint parties and speak about my book and stuff like that, which nice. is and it's part of uh, the actual um, retreat. So, which is kind of cool. Oh, nice. Nice. Because I think that, that people would really benefit from, um, from having a retreat where they have you there that they can they can ask questions and and get to know you get to know your your the way that you the your road your path yes ma'am so what are you doing ellie (laughs) well okay so i'm trying to reach over to to get my wire which is way down on this bottom stand and then my ballistics fell out of my pocket (laughs) (laughs) just by day just my day but gotta keep going right um so um lisa you and i met where did we meet at we met up in was it sage no it was it was uh sage levine's um yeah yes sage levine Yes. yes um she had a writer's group Yes, so we are both writers oh, and Sage Levine. So, Just yeah. for those that don't know her, mm-hmm. she's a writing coach. Okay, all right. Mm-hmm. Yes, and mm-hmm. so um, we met in that group, and then I was liking what Lisa was saying. I don't know if she was liking what I was saying, but somehow we connected, <laughs> and um, so yeah. And then I just saw anyone by messenger chat, and like sure, and then so. We uh, developed a you know friendship from there, and then we just kind of like added each other's friends on Facebook, and the rest is history. Yeah, it's beautiful how cro- the yeah. paths cross in life, whether it's you know just networking and stuff like that. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I love networking. Yeah. So, so the writing. I mm-hmm. during our talks, I get a lot of people that um write about their um their trauma the, the things that that they went through would you say that writing is instrumental to um i don't know if you can say heal from your trauma but at least give it a place i i was in uh, minneapolis minnesota from like 2000 in 2016 for like six months for PTSD and mild traumatic brain injury. I was still in the military and it was a um, 12 week cognitive process thinking program that I went through. And I was blessed to be inpatient because if I was outpatient, I would have been a hot mess because they caught me upstairs in the top floor. I was sitting Mm. in a position because all the stuff was coming out because I had to write it down several times. And what it did after a while is it started to desensitize in my head and everything that I went through. Yeah. So I was able to take all my documents and just sit down, with, listen to spa music and start typing away. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what would be your advice to people that are you, but then a couple of years ago, don't give up. There's hope out there. There's a lot of people out there who care, uh, one foot in front of the other, and know that you're loved regardless of the situation. Somebody out there you can connect with. Yeah. Um, so my motto is never give up. So I love that one. You said don't give up. up. Yes. Never give up. Yep. There's always a, a better horizon. You know, um, there's just things that you see that'll reach right now for some people, but um, you know, there's it's always better on the other side. It's like of whatever you're thinking, whatever you're going through, um, it just keep going because um, there's oh my gosh, it's so much better <laughs> once you get past all that muck, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. So yeah. Is so there really anything? Need- but, Sorry, go go. No, you go in, right? No, no, you go in. I just telling, I was just telling Lisa how much we appreciate her. 
So. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you guys too. Thank you so much for having yeah. me. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, if you were, um, no, what would be sort of your last words in this, in, in this video um, to people who are interested in, um, in your story and in maybe more in your healing than what would you say? What would you want to say? What would I want to say? Um, mm -hmm. Struggling is for real. Uh, struggling is a fact. We all struggle at some point in our life, but we can all struggle well. Um, it's just coping skills, finding something that makes you happy, uh, that brings you joy, uh, whether it's togetherness, uh, reading a book or coloring or listening to music. Uh, there's something out there going to the gym. There's like a plethora of things that you can do to get that mindset, to get it right. You know, self-care is a must. Just take care of yourself and then take care of the community around you because it pays off. Yes, that's awesome. That's great. That's great uh, advice. And I just love your background. It's like, it's so refreshing and positive. And oh, thank you. It's our game room. It's relaxing. <laughs> we were it's a game in, room. <laughs> yeah, we were stuck in the game. So there's a pool table in front of me and a uh, foosball oh, nice. in our bed. And then out here is so beautiful. I have to show you real quick. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Nice. Awesome. That's a, yeah. that's a big deck. It is. I mean, the deck gets bigger outside. This is um, a Verbo for like 10 people. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. But we're at 10,000 feet. So trying to enjoy it. The breathing helped me this morning. So I appreciate that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cool. <In> time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. That sounds like uh, where, where we need to be. Uh, home yeah. room. <laughs> oh, if only. <laughs> 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 Well, thank you so much, Lisa, for taking out the time and do go and enjoy those uh, other 10 friends and uh, enjoy your nice vacation. And uh, we'll see everybody else on the fast track. Fast track. Thank you, Lisa. And just let us know your book, uh, where people can get it and all the information on how to contact you and everything. Yes, ma'am. So I we'll just said... Ali, I'm sorry. I just sent Ali my uh, website on Facebook Messenger. Yeah, I'm sorry. Cool. For no, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Have a great day. Yeah. You and too. enjoy your vacation. I love you, ladies. Love you. <laughs> bye. 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 <laughs> Big hug.